Okay, admittedly, I didn't actually have a model ready for, like, um, the cat ears follower goal. So, uh, I'm just gonna have to wear this model. Yeah, at least you get, like, the bonus, uh, ahoyge, I guess. It's not ahoyge, isn't it? I remember, like, ages ago, I actually learned what it was, but now I can't remember. So let's go to ter uh, Terraria view, because, um, this one is, like, a lot more, um, it, it just hides a bit, you know? We, we don't need to exactly see thing just yet. Oh wait, actually, I don't even know if this scene will even show it. <laughs> wait, um, oh yeah, no, it, it will, it will. I just need to click this button and it should show it. But, um, yeah, so the secret I've been keeping this whole time from thing with Sherry Albert story saying it's not a concept image or anything like that, like a new art piece. It's a different form of art. It is music. I know, it's mad, isn't it? Like, to get a song made that's not by me and not a demo piece. So, yeah, this is basically the cover. Um, I think at first, let me just do that so I can actually show the cover before I actually start playing the uh, song itself fully. But yeah, there's the whole thing. Obviously, the top's being covered by Oak. And the bottom's also being, like, um... Actually, the bottom's really... It's just a little bit of me, you know, if I just skirt over. Just, like... like Cover as much as it, as much of it as possible. Sorry, I haven't streamed in what feels like it's like a literal century, so like I am a bit rusty. But yeah, um, I just realized now actually I need to change that because it needs to be a capital S. But we we have time for that anyway. I'll make sure to try and get that done tomorrow. Let me just break that up here real quickly. Uh, Dates. What if I just do this? There we go. Right. But yeah, no, this is just... It's just insane to think that finally after all this time, like, it's actually done. And if you want to know the credits, like, legit up the top now in the um, scrolling text, you'll probably have already seen it. Um... You'll see, like, the whole credits for it. Now, I'm going to play this because I need to remember how to pronounce the name properly. So just give me a second. Shianovis. Shianovis. All right. That's the person I reached out to on Fiverr to actually, you know, start making the song. Shianovis. Shianovis. Because <laughs> it's like, I've been working with them for over a month and I still don't know how to pronounce their name. But it's because, like, I've only been, like you know, sending messages to them, and they've been sending messages to me. I haven't even heard their voice until literally yesterday, like. Um, but they've definitely heard my voice, though, because there was some parts in um, the song, like, or lyric writing process, where it was just, like, I was sending them, like, my actual, like, vocals. I've been like, oh, it could be sung like this instead. And as you can imagine, it, it, it's bad. I might actually, um, during the actual video where I reviewed a song, I probably, like, if I do do one, I need to, like, play some of the clips I sent him. But obviously, I'm not going to play, like, the instrumental of the song. Because it, it's, like, a weird ground, right? Because I do own this song, but I technically wouldn't own the instrumental by itself, I don't think. Or at least, I wouldn't own, like, the prior instrumental. Because there was a bit of, like, extra work that was done in the final product that wasn't done in the instrumental that I used to show him as an example for how I'd like the lyrics to be sung. And the lyrics themselves, like... Happened through a few changes as well. Um, they sent me the lyrics first. I edited them a bit. They sent me back a bit more. And I just had like one little last tweak. And then I didn't hear anything for like... I, I actually don't even know. I think it was like a, like probably five days or so. I don't know. Because like, you know, they were just busy like actually getting into contact with people. And reaching out for like various different bits. Like if I just click on this real quick. Because um, like for the vocals... Where is it? Vocals. That's Yuda Muda that actually sang the song. And it might be Shinovis themselves. I'm not too sure. But it's titled or like credited by a different person. So I'm assuming different person. Um, the mixing and mastering was done by Magnum Opus. Which I'm pretty sure um, Shinovis and Magnum Opus. They definitely do have a lot of um, like songs themselves. 
and of course the vocal arrangement and lyric which i didn't i was thinking do i really count for the vocal arrangement because i was going to separate myself from crediting myself for that but i was like oh yeah no i did because i actually sent him like actual like you know like ways that the song could be sung using my own vocals to try and guide like how the final products was going to come out and of course they did so as well so yeah see look at that at the top now um i'll probably just leave that there because like I, I just want to, you know? And I definitely will be doing this, though, but, like, <laughs> whenever I get the chance, I will play this song's uh, lyric video at the beginning of, like, a few Sherry Arbor story videos. Maybe even at the start of a stream. Like, I might actually do something with the Be Right Back screen where it's, like, um, it plays the song and then, like, actually just plays other bits. So I might even just connect some, like, clips montages together and just have the timer there instead. Because I know, um... What you call it? Like uh, Nags Twenty One. I tune into a few of his streams sometimes, and like he, when he's beginning stream, he has like a ten minute countdown um, to get himself prepared. Even though he is late a lot of times, so he should already have time. But anyway, that's that's just not that, that's not for me to comment because I barely fucking stream now. But yes, it is water. <laughs> but um, I haven't gone down down the alcoholic route yet. I swear. But anyway, um, when it comes to his streams, like he would do like a kind of like have different clips that play at the start of the video and I think he must edit them like differently every time. I th it might be a thing that updates like over time, I'm not too sure. But then again, I haven't tuned in to like every one of his streams so I wouldn't really know. Because I don't think he'd be making a new montage every time. Unless he is, then that's fair play, you know? But even though, actually, yeah, no, like ha like replacing a clip at a time though would actually be a lot more time consuming than anything else. But yeah, right. Uh, what else is there to mention? It was last month when we started this. Obviously, today is actually the... Actually, yeah, today is the already the month anniversary when we started working on this song. But, um, you know, it was available yesterday, though. And the deadline was pushed to the 19th because on Fiverr, like, when somebody submits their order, like, it gets pushed a few days out to give the um, buyer some time. So if they want to just... <clears throat> like, look over the product and accept it. Or if they want to say, hey, sorry, can you change this and this and whatnot. And then, you know, the person who's, like, uh, providing the service will be like, oh, do you mind then if I add, ex like, extra time and this? Which, honestly, if I, like, I nearly say this now to everyone I order stuff from or commission stuff from, it's like, if you need that extra time, I will give you that extra time. I'm very lenient on this sort of thing, you know? Like, I already have other things going on in life. I have a job now, so, like, there's no real rush for any of this, you know? We're not all gunning to listen to this or, like, see new concept art anytime soon, you know? But, yeah. Um, oh, another thing, actually, I will mention. I've just called it channel opening because I didn't actually know where else to title it. But, like, I will say, though, the lyrics do kind of pertain to things that, like, happen in volume one. So, I guess maybe I should have been more, like, volume one. But, I don't know. I kept this here and that there because it, like, kind of matches the other like, covers I do, and obviously the font's still the same, except I have, um, Shinovis's, like, uh, username here, because I was like, you know what, that looks kind of cool, which <laughs> is, we're gonna put that there and just make it look cool, and if I do this, actually, oh no, yeah, you don't really see, you just see more of the bottom, that's really it, um, yeah, no, I don't, oh, yeah, I forgot, completely forgot, in the background as well, you can actually see, um, what I'm calling a mirage of, like, Joe Sniff Flair in the back. In Photoshop. It's literally just his normal image in the back. But I click, like... I think it was, like, the layering option or something like that. And I click saturation. I was like, oh, shit. That looks like rainbow. That looks really cool. I'm going to put that in the back. So that, like, you know, it doesn't just look like um, a normal, like... Uh, what should we call it? Like, demo uh, OST piece, you know? But actually, yeah. Speaking of OST pieces as well... I fucking, I released the, um, what was it? Battle with the Psychopath recently as well, which is basically like if you took Type B from Stare of the Psychopath and then just extended that song. Like, that's what I basically did. I just extended it, but like, it, it was really cool to work on though. I will say though, I was going to make it a lot longer than like what it was. And honestly, I was just like, nah, I, I have to stop here before I make this way too long and too convoluted. Like, so, like, there is a part of 
Battle with the Psychopath that could become its own song as well in the future or be used in another song. And as well as that, in my um, DAW program, I do have like um, another song that I don't know how I'm going to work on it, what I'm going to title it as, or if it's even going to be Sherry Albert story related. But um, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. There, there is a good bit of musical stuff. Like, it's just like, this is literally like the month of music for Sherry Albert story. Because the fucking EP released recently as well. Like, detailing, like, the, um... Well, or just basically playing one by one all the, like, um... What should we call it? Songs for Share Up a Story. Like this, for example. I'll just play the ad break and show you, like... Like, you see what I mean? Like, basically that was, like, a... I guess that was kind of just, like, a hint towards it, honestly. But obviously the, um... One that I released onto Share Up a Story's, like, actual channel. That one's a lot better than, um what you see there that was just basically like cobbled together and i think i'm just going to add more songs to that for the stream version so that i have other songs that i can play for the ad break that i know are like not copywritten and stuff like that um but yeah another thing i will mention as well is the dates have updated for my birthday event and for the um first video on my channel uh birthday as well well, 10th anniversary, should I say, not 10th first. But my first video on YouTube was how I ended up in Minecraft. And that video, it's so weird to think that like this year, I think it's like the 30th of May. It's going to be like 10 years old. But unfortunately, I can't actually celebrate it on that day because I'm at work. So what I'm planning to do is hopefully, I think, is it next week? No way is it next week. I think it's actually next week. Hold on, wait. Shit, yeah, that's next week. Oh my god. Fucking time is flying, man. <laughs> no, in no time flat, I'll be on my fucking bank holiday again. And of course my birthday will roll around. But basically, the plan is on the 27th, we're going to hopefully do like a kick stream. Where I'll play like um, a few videos, not too many of like videos that need to be in the next stream, but like videos that I know are like copyright claims. So we'll probably just look through like the archive channel on the 27th, but then on like the 28th, we'll look through like the Joe's Night Flyer channel, the Joe's Night Flyer's Clips channel, and the um, Sherry Arbor Story channel. Just because like if it gets copyright claimed on uh, Kick and stuff, I want to just see how that works. And honestly, if the whole audio is still in there on the Kickstream, I might just download it and then edit it later. Because, as you may or may not have seen as well, I've actually, um, I've actually edited a video, like, for the first time in a while and uploaded it to the main channel. And, like, it's so weird, because it's like, ah, that's actually finally done. Like, the VOD of that is available, but, like, I prefer the video of it, because it kind of just, it condenses the stream into its best moments. The Bing Chilling and the, um moments in Grasp of Avarice when I'm just struggling like it, it, if you have time watch it because I did put a bit of time into subtitling it but it's not as heavy as the um subtitlings I do for some of the shorts Jesus man the if I have to edit another short where it's like one word like per frame like oh my god I'm actually gonna die man those are an effort and a half to create it's like for shorts though like you have to do that like you have to make it so the whatchamacallit the text itself is like more visible for people scrolling on a phone but if i'm doing like text like this like obviously it's going to be just like as big as it wants and or small as it needs to be because like you're watching this usually on a monitor and if you're watching this on the phone you turn it on its side like and all that like actually i can even probably show an example of let me actually x this out because it's going to get x'd out anyway um, let's see, it should be that, yes, this is kind of me leaking a little bit of my, um, lyric video already, but shush. Oh, wait, did you just hear that? Okay, you didn't hear that, Grant. I'm just going to show an example. <laughs> this is like the fucking worst example, because it's just like a bit of text, but I'll show it anyway. Um, there we go. So, like, 
you know, when you're doing it vertically, like this text was probably a lot smaller in, especially because I took the exact music file or music, the music lyric video file, and I turned it like into a kind of short kind of format. It's basically mainly for TikTok. I'll probably actually chop up bits of it for um, YouTube because I know YouTube don't accept like any videos over a minute. And this is, what is it, a minute and 27 seconds. You didn't see anything, by the way. I definitely didn't just spoil the whole music video there <laughs> in two seconds. I swear. I swear. You saw nothing. But um, it's only the shorts version anyway. It's not like the... Well, I mean, it is the music video. It's like the lyric video. But it's also like not the one. It's not the original. It's a copy. It's a fake. It's a fraud. It's a scam. Come over here, you coward, and face me. Um, Let's see. Yeah, no, it wasn't that I had open, it was this. <laughs> I'm just making sure now before, like, I open the wrong one. Actually, I will also show, for example, the... what was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I forgot I even gave it a proper title as well. I called it, um, the beginning of her story as well. So, yeah, there, here's, like, the OST. Like, in comparison to the ad that I just played earlier, like, you know, there's, like, actual, like, animations, there's fade-ins and... Like so on and so forth. If I just skip in a bit. You'll see it like fade in a minute now. Now I will admit though that fade isn't the cleanest one. But that's because this like loop is literally just the same. It's It doesn't change. Like I probably should have like made the fade a bit longer. And then had a bit of silence and then played Curiosity. But you know shit happens. <laughs> shit happens you know. Yeah, I love that though, especially because with um, Battle with the Psychopath, I've used fucking Psychopath's art so much recently <laughs> that I'm like, hmm, if I had just this color for all of them, like, see, even just looking at that, it's like the exact same. So it's like, okay, um, we'll change it blue. And then next, like, oh shit, I guess I'll turn it green for the next one because it's like, you know, that's Joseph and I Flyer's like armor color. So, yeah. Does this? I don't think it fades. Yeah, no, it kind of, it kind of just plays. Yeah, no, we probably gotta listen. Actually, no, fuck it. We're listening to that now. I have to. Uh, let me just play here. Yeah, cause this is the end. Yeah, I'll, I'll literally like mark here and like when the um, moment happens when it changes from type B to its own kind of song. And I will say as well, whilst this plays, a lot of inspiration obviously for like Sherry Arbor's story songs is like songs that were made before of them. So I feel like I'm gonna have to stop doing that soon. At least the new one that I'm making right now doesn't currently have inspiration from the other songs and it's kind of its own thing right now. Which is why I'm still debating whether it should be a Sherry Arbor story song or not, but... Like with this, um... Like this is its own thing. But the introduction, like that sound bite... Or not sound bite, that, um... Instrument? Let me just play it again real quick. This is like the short version of... The, um keys that I was holding down during It's Time to Think, the uh, first original song I did in college. I just basically mega shortened them and turned it into dun 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 and so on and so forth.
Don't mind me abandoning stream for two seconds and completely losing my train of thought now and where I am. Um, what was I doing? What was I saying? Yeah, so with... Oh my god. Wait, how the fuck do I remember that? I was talking about the dun 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 dun. Bro, I... Okay, I think my memory is actually improving. That's the first time I've ever actually been able to easily recall where I left off. That's actually good as well, because at my workplace, I'm actually going to be tutoring people, I think, next week. And for a few weeks onwards from there, and maybe even from now on. So, like, that's actually going to be handy as a fucking tray as a tutor. But anyway. Um, but yeah, it goes the dun-dun, and that's from, like, It's Time to Think. I think, yeah, no, that actual, like, the original video for It's Time to Think is still up on the um, Share Up a Story YouTube channel itself. So it's so odd when you go to, like, the oldest video, and it's from, like, 2019 when I started making videos for Share Up a Story last year now. Which is weird to think. It like it feels like I've been doing this forever now for Sherry Albert's story, but it really hasn't been that long. But yeah, I also love this detail as well of just the fucking like the shadow on the back. Because so I think I've done that even for um the new cover, uh Tingy Mabob as well. But anyway, um I'll let it play out a bit more. We were like somewhere here, I think. But um which McCall it. Yeah, other than that, actually, I was going to mention how I, like, I'm i basically becoming a tutor now at work as well. Because I do a bunch of other things at work. Like, I'm basically the IT guy, but it looks like I'm also going to be the IT tutor as well. Which is um, an interesting little thing I never thought I'd ever be. But, like, to be fair, though, as well, I actually have imagined myself, like, maybe potentially trying to go down the teacher route in the future. Like, as a career choice, but I never really leaned too much into it. It's more of just, like, a fantasy kind of thing. Just being like, oh, wouldn't that be so cool, though? I don't know, because, like, there's just cool teachers you, like, you know at school. And it's like, man, I kind of wish I was them. <laughs> it's just like, I wish I was actually that cool and was able to actually teach people new things and they'd be excited for it, like. I think it's here now. Yeah. This was actually a mistake in the song. It wasn't meant to play out like this, but honestly, it sounds so much better than what I could have actually done. And then this is obviously also different as well. Dun, 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 dun. And if you listen to It's Time to Think, it's basically ripped from that as well. I think, what part of the song is that actually? I'm trying to think now. It is definitely from It's Time to Think. Dun, 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 dun. And then it's, yeah, it's this part, so. It just sounds different. I think it's also sped up a little bit as well here. I don't know how that's even possible because this is made in the same track that It's Time to Think was also made in. So <laughs> it doesn't really make any sense, but it is how it is. Um, Let me think as well whilst we play. But you know, the parts as well where it like loses some instruments just sounds so good as well. It's just like, like this part here, just lo literally I drop like a few instruments. I think it might have even just been one and just creates this effect like and then it goes like this in a second. I love it. But yeah, no, I even after like... What has it been now? Over four years since, like... Actually, I think it's been longer. Wait, 2018, 19, 20. 2018 to 19, 19 to 20, 20 to 21. So, from 21 to... Yeah, even basically, like, three years later, because I would be finishing up, like, college again now. Like, I'm still, like, into making music. I guess it's because I still have the knowledge and I still have the software downloaded, so I might as well, like. And plus, Sherry Albert's story is a great reference to work off of. Whereas before, I didn't really have a big reference to work with, honestly. And this also kind of takes on the, um, like, playing without the extra instruments, uh, playing with it, you know? Because it's the same bits of the song. But you just take away an instrument and it just sounds so different, like. And originally that was going to continue the loop again, but I was like, you know what? 
that's it. We're just going to have a hard cut off at the end before I fucking, like, I keep, like, adding more and more to the song and it never ends, like. Um, I'm trying to think. I, I can talk more later about my other show. I think I'm going to finally actually play uh, the song itself. Um, so, yeah, depending if you're lucky or not, you might get to see the whole thing. I do know, though, for the VOD of this, I need to make sure it doesn't, like, it doesn't come out before um the song comes out itself on the Sherry Albert Story channel. And plus, I'm also going to try and stream tomorrow. I think it's at, like, 2 when it releases, or 4. No, it'd be 2, I think I said it as. But yeah, I'm going to try and stream tomorrow around 2pm uh, GMT. To uh, basically, you know, like, watch it live as it, like, releases. But I guess here's, like, the song. I don't know if I'm going to play the whole thing. I think I might stop myself partway through, but... Yeah, no, it, like... I think it's good, actually, that I played Battle with the Psychopath, because now you can kind of compare Battle with the Psychopath compared to um, The Path of Her Savior by myself and... Fuck. I, I remembered his name two seconds ago. Shinovis? I think it's Shinovis, isn't it? Wait, 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 wait. Shinovis. Fuck, it's Shinovis. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm fucking bad with names, like, but, um, whatchamacallit. Can I actually just make sure there I didn't leak anything else? Terraria videos. Make sure there was nothing inappropriate there as well. Yeah, no good. Well, the only inappropriate thing is the clip of <laughs> just the tip. Oh, that that was funny to find as well. That's also an edit from like another video that I need to start uh, editing more. Uh, clip for next montage. Right, cool. Anyway, sorry, I'll stop delaying. I'll actually play the song now. I I, I think anyway. Listen. Uh, wait, actually, you know what, can I... There we go, I'll turn up the desktop audio bit, because I think the fan might also be, um... Like, drowning out the music sounds as well, but I can't help it, it's fucking roasting in Ireland right now, it's like 18 degrees, so... Ha! <laughs> imagine getting cocktails. Imagine actually getting cocktails. Like, the fellow was about to say his first line as well, and he just got cocktails. Um, there was something he was actually going to say, though. Um, what was it? It was, um, I think even just, and again, I'm doing this on purpose, obviously, to uh, pad out time. But, like, you can hear the difference in not just, like, because, like, this is, like, not just, like, one person working on a song and has a bit of memory of, like, how music works again. But, well, not even book, but, like, it's just, like, it's so different, because it's, like, you have Shinovis, and you have Magma Mopus, and you have the other guy's name that's escaped my head. Oh, wait, if the path of uh, To Her Savior plays, here's the credits. Right, <laughs> Let, let's wait two seconds. Shinovis, yes, for the music. And the vocals. Bye. Yuda Muda. That's it, Yuda Muda. I should remember that, though. That That's actually a good name, Yuda Muda. Anyway, sorry, I'll, I'll, I swear I'll play the song now. I'll, I'll let it play out, definitely. I'm definitely not going to stop it, like, when he says his first word. <laughs> I swear. But, you know, I, I should just let this play anyway, because, like, you'll see the actual music video tomorrow, because, like, I pure put a good bit of work into that as well. Um... Sure, it's, like, my editing, so it's not, like, the best music video in the world, but... I've never been more willing to edit a video than the actual music video for The Path to Her Savior. Now, you can probably comment on the speed of which I created it, which was literally, I came home. I think I started at like half one or two o'clock or something like that. And then I legit just spent from there to like probably sometime around four, half four, just creating the music video or at least... No, I almost created the music video. I had to go for dinner at that time. But, like, I had to, um, or not had to, but, like, I was just pure into it. I was like, no, I am getting this done. I'm also going to get the TikTok version of it done. And I'm also going to get the sound version of it done as well, which is the one we're listening to here. It's just sound. Uh, that's why it's sound YouTube, uh, YouTube and not just, like, anything else. 
because it's just like well, actually I could upload I just realized I could upload this to TikTok separately as well and plus I also upload to Instagram now as well <laughs> I, I don't think I've ever mentioned that on streams but like I do actually upload to TikTok as well or uh, Instagram um I think yeah all the songs at the very least should be on I don't know anything about the other videos I think I was gonna do the other videos but then I genuinely just got a bit lazy in wanting to like pull up like you know find where the videos are even though it's not too hard because I actually have a folder of every single Sherry Arbor story upload that's ever been uploaded except probably for the volume 1 to 12 uh volume 1 to 12 uh featuring d3 2022 yeah that video I think was actually deleted afterwards because it's not actually like a Sherry Arbor story video it's more of a uh, Joe's Night Flyer video. I think that was uploaded to Joe's Night Flyer because it was over an hour long. It's like, oh, cool, that's a free VOD I could just upload there. And plus, it, it you know, it helps cross promotion. That's why, like, every time a post goes out on the Sherry Arbor Story channel, I'm usually like re like sharing it myself through the community tab and whatnot, community posts, and then just give it a little extra comment sometimes, like just because I can. Okay, now swear down. Um. Yeah, you know what? I I won't comment on this box of uh, jelly bean donuts. So I'll leave that till after the song. Okay. In a world of dreams, the wonders, a journey without a star. Closer gates to the distant red sky and endless ocean. Illusion of this hero to create this desire. Her heart wants to feel so far away. Her heart for the entire world. Oh, Sherry, don't you hide your secret side? Everything's okay. Let go of all the weight that you've been holding on to now. And just believe in what he says Go walk down the memory lane Remember the hope you held on And let it take me to your chase As your seconds flying above you in your sky There is the wish you made To get the chance to meet one day To bring you back together someday Then you see with a smile on your face Oh my god, sorry, I'm just, I don't I don't know what it is. It's just like that felt fucking emotional. Cause like I've been listening to a song and just jamming it to myself, but I've not felt as emotional as I did just there. Like actually showing the fucking song or well letting you just listen to the song. Like I just can't help it. I have I have to leak my own things. I have to fucking show what's been worked on, like for over a month, like you know. But yeah, um, I don't know if I'm going to get another song. Like, I do like what we've done here. But, like, at the same time, I think it's time to finally go back to getting maybe concept art stuff uh, done again. But I, I don't know. I think I'm going to, like, let my wallet take a break at least till the end of the month. Because it was pretty costly with this. I'm not going to say exactly how much it was. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> fucking... Yeah, that's it. Honestly, there's nothing else I can really say other than, like, subscribe to Share Albert's Story and you might see more stuff like that. Um, unfortunately, as I already mentioned with the instrumental, I'm not going to be uploading that, like, separately because the version I have of it is, like, um, like not the final version. And, like, I didn't pay for, like, the instrumental to be separate, I don't think. So, like... Well, yeah, no, I didn't because it was, wasn't in the order um, bundle. It was just the MP3 and the WAV files for this. So, yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll get the instrumental. I don't know. Because, <laughs> like, maybe then I could do a cover of my own, like, um, uh, commission song. Like, I think that would be a cool, like, kind of gas full circle kind of thing. Me covering my own song because even there, like I was, tr I just really wanted to sing with it, but I, I held myself back. I was like, "Nope, Joe, we're listening to this together with the fan noises. We're we're not singing it." 
But yeah, at, le at least now I can finally, like, do streams or just go around the place and actually, like, hum the song more cheerfully. I can actually sing the song as well without worrying about, like, spoiling it anymore because it's now kind of out there. Again, the only real thing I haven't done yet is actually shown the music video. But to be fair, like, you'll, you'll see that tomorrow anyway. I'll hopefully be streaming tomorrow so I can show that. Unless, like, something happens tomorrow and I'm, like, you know, mad editing, um... Volume 16, like I have recently. Yeah, that's right. Your boy's back into the swing of actually writing more content for Sherry Arbor's story. We're on volume 16. I'm sorry if I keep, like, um, sounding a bit weird. I'm, like, trying to scratch the inside of my nose. Oh, maybe I should stop, because that's blood. I <laughs> just... Have I really fucking scratched that badly with this tissue that it's blood? Or is that blood just already going to come down? I don't know. But anyway... It's basically just a sign I need to fucking trim my nose again. Even though I literally just did that recently, but... Fucking... What was I on about? I was on about Sherry Albert's story, writing that stuff. It's just, like... It's mad because, like, I left her for a while now with uh, Volume 16 being um, unfinished. I probably left it for a good bit. Because I do know as well, like... Um, like, I, th I think I've already said this before, but when it comes to me writing Cheryl Albert's story, I also exercise at the same time. So it's just like, if I'm not exercising, I'm not writing Cheryl Albert's story. And if I'm not writing Cheryl Albert's story, I'm not exercising. So, like, it's been really nice recently because I've seen a lot of YouTube recommendations of, like, um, like, fat phobia and all that sort of stuff. And how people, like, are just true to themselves. And like, you know, I just want to work out because I want to work out, you know? I was like, damn. This kind of makes me want to work out. So I was like, ah, go on, Joe. Just start playing the music. Trust me. You'll get into the groove. You'll want to edit more of the story. Trust, brother. And, well, let's just say I'm four days in and I fucking finally, like, beaten my old recent... Well, my recent um, record streaks of 3.1... Actually, no, it starts at 0 0.8, 3 3.1, and 3.3. So even if I lose this current, like, exercise streak, like... I've hit, I've hit four, like, that, that's literally, like, what, 0. 0.7 up from the last one? Like, bro, I'm goaded. I'm, that's why I'm the GOAT! I can't do his actual, um, voice. Because, like, my voice is gonna probably kill me, like, after talking this much and so excitedly as well, like. But I guess it's also a good thing that I don't stream as much, or didn't stream as much recently. I have that, like, kind of, um built up kind of just like oh guys here yeah this is what i did like recently you know and all that because yeah as i even mentioned from work like that it's gonna be weird i think it's like it's also in the morning as well <laughs> but it's only on for an hour but i'm basically going to be um helping people understand like how to use a computer basically so it's not even that difficult of a class but i don't know it's going to be cool to see how i do in a kind of teacher kind of environment and see, like, where I go from there, you know? But yeah, other than that, I did uh, leave a little bit of a cliff note to the side. That I have these um, jelly beans that are, like, also donuts. So they're jet Wait. They're donut-flavored jelly beans. That's it. And they're actually made by the same people who made fucking Bean Boozle. And I should really not have doubted them, like, with making these donut jelly beans. Because they're actually fucking good. Like... Hold on, I'm gonna open it, right? Now, like, taste test them all again, because I can, because I'm fat. Um, <laughs> even though I just talked about, like, <laughs> exercise and reason, but anyway. Um, but then again, you could also be, like, fat and, like, exercise as well, can't you? Because, like, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, I smell the aroma. And it's like, it just smells like a donut shop when you open it, like. But our choices are fi uh, five different beans, so we have... Glazed, blueberry cake, strawberry iced, apple filled, and chocolate glazed. And if I were to rank these off the top of my head, I'd say glazed would be the bottom, apple filled would be four, the chocolate one would be third, and maybe blueberry and strawberry would be tied for me. Well, I mean, I shared these jelly beans now with my workmates and with my family at home. And I think I see a clear winner. Because the apple filled, or the, okay, the apple filled, like, has the most in it. And then the strawberry one, there's like, one, two, there's only seven left. <laughs> it's just like, bruv. There's not much of it left in there. 
But yeah, I think these pack of donuts or donuts. <laughs> I'm not even calling them donuts now. These pack of jelly bean flavored donuts, donut flavored jelly beans, cost I think it was like four fifty or something. Because I think they're imported. I don't think they're actually like available in Ireland yet. But like, I like hats off to the jelly bean company because they fucking like they made like the worst fucking game imaginable with Bean Boozle. Because I've tasted that those jelly beans and I've done like bits with them before. And I think I did something on a stream as well at some point, like taste testing them. I had Bean Boozle again, because I think it was, yeah, St. Jude sent me some stuff at one point. But like, the like they literally said, okay, we can make like the worst tasting jelly beans possible. Now let's start making some that actually taste decently. Like, I'm not surprised if they fucking delivered these jelly beans to like army units now, because th this is good fucking like, what was it M.E.R. food or something like that? M.R.E.? Where it's like, you you just condense like a fucking <laughs> a mac and cheese meal in a jelly bean. It's like, oh, that's cool. That actually tastes like it. So, let me have... Okay, let me have the blueberry one first, and then the strawberry one. And I'll just see like which one's actually second and first. So, this is the blueberry one. Right? Let's use the other side of the mouth now for strawberry. Okay. I'm going to be Sherry Arbor here and say that strawberry is actually the best one. And blueberry is like second for me. But like. I understand why strawberries like was the most like loved one of all the jelly beans. Because it's like they just taste the best. Like, I try to, like, be more of a blueberry enthusiast, but it's hard when fucking no shops around you even sell blueberry things, like. You can only get blueberry, um, fruits, like. And sure, I could get a pack of blueberries and munch on them, but it's just like, what if I forget them? And then they're just, like, rotting in the fridge and nobody eats them and they get dumped, like. Feels like a waste. That's the only, like, reason I don't really buy fruit, but I'd love to buy more fruit. And have more fruit on a daily basis. I just can't commit to it. Uh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, problem with the jelly beans is it gets stuck in your teeth. Like, oh, notice a mistake. For more live content, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Follow. There it is. Here we go. A live fix. Don't mind me. At least we can actually interact with OBS in the stream as well. Unlike the fucking, um, whatchamacallit. Well, like when we're playing Terraria, like, it's just like, no, Joe, you may never interact with this ever. Do not even attempt this, bro. Um, speaking of Terraria, actually, I should probably play that, shouldn't I? But again, I don't know. I feel like this stream is kind of just nice the way it is, just on its own, like, a just chatting section rather than being just a, um, whatchamacallit, being a gaming stream. I think there's nothing wrong with that, you know? Just basically have it become its own podcast episode. Which, actually, I was mentioning before. Well, I don't think I was mentioning before, but I was thinking of it recently, where I might actually just do another podcast episode. But at the same time, I kind of want to, like... I kind of want to wait until I get someone on for a podcast episode. Like, a few people who I haven't had on before, and so on and so forth, you know? Like, you know, some other friends and whatnot. I don't know how I'd be as a podcast host bringing on someone who's raided me. Like, sure, we could give it a try, but, like, the most I know is that you raided me and that's really it. Like, um, yeah, I think, like, best contenders for, like, a podcast episode would be, like, Lazy Panda or, like, Brando. Those would be, like, the two people I'd probably reach for for a podcast episode. And sure, I could do it live, but, like, there's always that fear of, like, what if we say something wrong somehow during, like, a live episode, you know? And it's like, ah, oh, shit, well, we can't take that back now. That's out in the open, you know? Like, I think, wasn't it, like, uh, what was it? h 3 h 3s podcast. Like, they did it live before, but I don't think they do it anymore now. Actually, no, they still do it live, don't they? Because he still has some shit takes. And I'm not purposely just giving him a job. It's just like, there are some times where he's, um, like, 
not really thought about what he was going to say and just kind of rolled with it, you know? But, you know, sometimes it just happens. Like, shit is what it is, like. But, yeah. I'm going to just, like... I'm just going to have, like, um... One of each jelly bean that I haven't uh, eaten yet. So, the chocolate one is actually very potent. Like, I think that's why I put that third. And then the glaze, obviously, is just glaze. Like, there's not much to it. And the apple filled does have a... Or apple filled has a bit more to it, so I put that there. And usually, I don't really like apple, like, kind of pastries. But, like, eh, this, this one's okay. <laughs> just because it's in a jelly bean, but yeah. I better stop eating now. Yeah, see, I put the three of them in my mouth, and for me, the chocolate one is standing out the most. I and mean, these are like, there's just three jelly beans in my mouth, and the chocolate one's just overwritten, overwritten all the other ones, you know? But yeah, I wish I could show this layout, because it, it is nicely presented as well. Um... Even though I just realized it look they look like um kidney trays <laughs> from a hospital like plastic see through kidney trays. Right. There's that, there's that, there's work. There's me now bringing back um when was the fidget spinner introduced? Wasn't it like 2018 or something like that? Here's me bringing back 2018 and spinning my fidget spinner again if you can't hear that. Then I think my fidget spinner somehow has gotten better. Like the more I've spun it the more it's actually like been able to spin better. Okay, hold on. I'm waiting for it now to stop spinning, but it's not. Because I swear I would have stopped by now. Because, you know, it would have, like, rusted over time, the thing. I can see it in the actual weights on the side of the, um, fidget spinner. <laughs> Who knew, actually, I was lifting weights before I even got my, um, uh, 5kg, like, dumbbells. And yes, they are 5kg, I know. I'm not that strong, but, like, I have I don't work out all the time. I haven't had a reason to upgrade to newer ones and plus um it's just an effort to get like ones that weigh more. Like, oh cool, I'm gonna get six kg and then just leave the five kg somewhere in my room randomly. Oh man, but if I left them in the shelf that'd be a nightmare. Cause like with my shelf, like I move that around. I've been moving it around quite a lot recently, especially when I hoover my room and because I don't even think I mentioned this on stream, because I don't think I streamed, but like well, I did actually say in the Discord, if you want to join that, the panel should be below. The, um, whatchamacallit, the corner, or not corner, but, like, my whole room's kind of molding up again. So, I, like, it was Thursday last week when I, um, fucking hell, the, the, this fidget spinner is actually doing it for me right now, I'm not gonna lie. It's actually, I'm just constantly spinning it, if you can hear that, like, me just hold on to it and spin it again. But, um... Yeah, no, so, like, I literally had to pull out the fucking shelf, the fucking storage boxes, the bed. I had to make sure the covers of the bed were on top of the bed to make sure it wasn't going to be in the way when I did a bit of hoovering as well. Because with the, um, our paint mats are basically just, um, shower curtains, like, old shower curtains. Because why not? Like, what other purpose would they serve? Um, especially when they're old. But, um, whatchamacallit. I keep distracting myself with the fidget spinner, I swear to god, like, we're not gonna get through the sentence. But it's just like, um, I, once I pull all that out, open the window wide, I turn on the fan, I think, as well, had the door open wide, and I just went to town. Well, at least, I went to town on the wall, and the skirting board on the wall. The floor, I think I should look at again, just to see if there's actual mold, like, on, well, I don't, okay, I physically can't see the mold on the floor, but maybe underneath the carpet that's kind of turning up because it's fucking, what, like 13 years old now? Like, this carpet's ancient. So it's just like, maybe there might actually be some mold just hiding on the floor underneath the carpet and it's just waiting to rise back up the uh, skirting board again. And the skirting board itself is kind of like, holy as well. Like, um, I, like you can kind of see the bottom of the skirting board hovering a bit off the ground but anyway fucking whatchamacallit so yeah i wiped down the skirting board first well the skirting board and the wall i kind of did them both uh made sure i did a wipe over then i cleaned it over with a um kitchen towel as well because it's, it's just like I, I wanted to make sure i was actually getting rid of a lot of it first before paying over it again even though kind of 
my workmate suggested that I should have actually used um, good old Shillet Bang, non spawn, but uh, Shillet Bang fucking mold remover. And I actually went to the shop to see like if they had much, and they actually only had that, so I was like, ah, grand, I'll do. And I did look up if I could use it on which I'm gonna be uh, doing the ceiling tomorrow, hopefully. But um, oh yeah, shit, I just realized I'm gonna be fucking doing the ceiling tomorrow and thing. Yeah, and I just realized there as well. I, for I forgot to change the go live notification. Did not say Terraria. Um, it doesn't matter anyway. We'll go back to Terraria. Maybe we'll do Cuphead. Maybe we'll go back to Minecraft. Who knows? But so yeah, I fucking wiped down the wall. I painted over the skirting board with um, gloss paint as it should have been. I think it was gloss. Basically, it was the right paint, if anyone ever asks. Um, and like, hold on, if I just get up now, I'll, I'll stop talking for a bit, just have a look. But yeah, it just, it just looks so much nicer. Like, it's, it's nice to actually look the wall and the fucking skirting board isn't just black just jet black like my hair like um whatchamacallit so yeah i painted over all that uh, basically a lot of the i say basically half the skirt and board that like covers the room was painted and then with the wall it was kind of more just like okay the walls like that like surround my bed those are like the ones that are going to get covered and painted and I basically painted over the mold area and then I painted a bit more just to be sure that I was getting as much like or covering as much as possible of what I already wiped. And I was going to do the ceiling as well. But then I realized it's like, oh wait, shit, that's like, that's kind of a lot. Because like I was already like vacant from my room. I even went out for a walk as well because my room was just... It was so smelly from the fucking uh, paint fumes from painting the wall again and the skirting board. So it's like two different paint fumes just going off. And I don't think they're toxic or anything, but like I remember suffering before when I tried to sleep in the room when it was uh, very fumey. So I was like, I, I think I'll sit this one out for the most of the day. And then at the end of the day, hopefully it'll be grand. And honestly, I was kind of right with my assumption. It was basically okay at the end of the day. Like it was sleepable conditions. I Like there wasn't really much paint fumes left. I'd say there was like a percent or two of the fumes left of what there would have been if I painted it like at night and went to sleep in the same night without even venting the room. And again, I opened the vent, I fucking opened the window and I opened the door. So like I, and I had the fan on at intervals of time as well. So I had everything on at the same time. And of course I had the Hoover after because um, dry paint was just getting on the floor. So I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, I'll Hoover <laughs> behind the bed again. But, you know, that time when I hoovered my room, though, was fucking mad. Like, there was a pure, just rectangular section of dust that was just never hoovered up. Underneath the carpet that's now up the side of the wall. And the fucking bed itself, when I put that up the side of the wall as well. Um, the bed itself is also fucking moldy. It's not really doing too well, but... I, I, I'm gonna have to try and look more into it to see if I can fix it up or anything like that. Because, like... I, th I don't think I've really mentioned this too much because it, I don't know, it's it iffy ki like kind of thing right now, but we're meant to be moving at some point in the future. And it's just like, why would I bother buy <clears throat> another bed now and then have to go through the effort of moving that same bed out of the house and into the new one, you know? So it's just like, you know what? I I'll wait out my time. I did like try to like go down the bed a bit and just at least dust it off and all that and like wipe a bit of the mold off if I could but it's kind of just irreversible it's already done like surprisingly enough though the mattress is okay there is like a few um <laughs> there's actually a few holes in the actual uh hollow part of the bed underneath the mattress from my old mattress that used to fucking the springs of that used to stick out but yeah it's also weird to think about now that I said that I actually bought my own mattress like ages ago there are a good few things in this room that like aren't just like purchases from my parents they're actually kind of my purchases like and it's kind of just been consuming the room slowly over time like if I showed my current room now and said to my younger self oh yeah by the way this is what the room looks like now he's like bro where'd you get this money from I'm like Joe trust me 
You get into college, bro. They pay you. Let's go. <laughs> but yeah, um, and you have a job now as well. Let's go. But um, yeah, no, it's just gas because even like this whole computer from the mouse, keyboard, and everything is also paid by me. The dumbbells, the fucking well, the carpet isn't paid by me. That was just already downstairs and was put up here in my room. So I usually just lay it down for the winter time, just to give the room a bit more insulation. The whiteboard's mine. The walls are technically... <laughs> now, hear me out. The walls are technically mine as well because I painted over all of them. And I'm also painting a lot of the skirting boards. So the skirting board's mine too. The carpet on the floor can get fucked. I am not moving every little thing out of this room unless I can guarantee to get carpet that would fit uh, in the entirety of this room within, like, a few hours. Because, like, when you think about that, right? Taking up all this carpet... It's just too much effort. It's like, and like, you'd also have to cut out very, like, particular parts. Like, for example, the radiator just beside me. Well, I say just beside me, the opposite side of the room to me. Like, you'd also have to cut around that and just make sure it's all good. And it's just, it's just too much, man. And like, there's just some things in this room where it's like, it's probably best to just not unsettle it. Because like, it would just fucking ruin it like what if i do something to my computer when i move out and it just breaks it like i'd be scared of that like that's probably the one thing i'd fear the most when like moving honestly like if we were if we were at the time where we finally needed to move like the last few things i feel like like when i like would take the computer to the new house i would actually like take the actual pc itself not the wires, not the monitors, not anything like that. Just the PC itself. Put its cover back on because I have it off currently for summer. And I would actually cradle it until we reached the new house. And I placed it safely somewhere where it would not get damaged. But yeah, it's just like I will care for the computer as much as I can. Actually, speaking of computers as well. My friend was mentioning that uh, they had bleeding uh, computer parts from their old computer. So I should... Actually, I'm going to write that up on the board as well. We're writing up a lot of things on the board. Um, computer parts. But yeah, like, it's just... It's just insane old style, honestly, that, like... Oh, yeah, I just realised as well, by the way. Exercise streak isn't on four, it's on five now. It's just I haven't marked it as five until the end of the day. I usually do it before I go to bed, but anyway. So, yeah, the computer parts, my, like, I was... When I was hanging out with my mates, it wasn't last Saturday, was it? No, it was the Saturday before then. Oh, no, yeah, it was... Was it last... No, yeah, it wasn't last Saturday. It was the Saturday before that. Damn. Man, all these days are blurring into one. Also, just remember that, like, I've been working now at my part-time job for... Since March. March, April, May... Like, we're fast approaching, like, the, uh, fucking four-month mark, is it? Like, March? Yeah, no, the start of March, so it's basically all of March, April. And then we're almost at the end of May, so that'll be the third month, man. Um, when it... Oh, no, yeah, the 6th of June, that's when it would be. That's when it would be three months since I started working at my workplace, and I'm not actually looking forward to next week, because a co-worker, like, really likes birthdays, and... They're probably actually going to, like, have a little birthday thing for me on, like, the Wednesday before I go home. Because it's just... Because I'm not going to be in work on my birthday because it's literally Thursday. So, they're probably going to do something. And they know it's, like, a short day for me as well because I only work to, like, half 11 on Wednesday. So, it's just, like, yeah, they're, they're probably going to do something and I'm not really looking forward to it. Like, even if it's just a cake, I'm just going to be, like, I don't know. I don't, like, I think everyone doesn't really like the kind of... You know, having a happy birthday song to you, unless you're, like, really narcissistic or something like that, then I guess you would be a thing. But then again, I say that, but at the same time, I'm going to be doing a fucking birthday stream. <laughs> Just literally a day... Yeah, I'm going to be doing the uh, birthday stream on my birthday. Pretty much. But then again, if I can't make it on my birthday for whatever weird reason, then I'll probably do it the next day. But, um, we'll, we'll call it, like, the extended birthday stream. Or extended birthday, the stream. Um, I went way off topic. We were talking about mold, paint, walls, moving, carpet. Yeah, no, the fucking carpet. I, man, honestly, my skills of fucking deducting where I used to be is actually getting better. But anyway. Fucking, uh, 
the carpet is getting fucking well it is not getting it it is fraying on some edges that's why like i'd even consider it like if somebody said to me oh yeah i will actually pay for the carpet like if you took everything out of your room right now and like re lay down the carpet i'd also like to see how it would be done as well because i've actually never seen how flooring's laid um i'm pretty sure you can do it yourself anyway because i know my dad and his friend like um had to like re like do some of the floors in the house before we moved in but anyway um god my fucking throat is getting <laughs> just destroyed oh my god yeah, sorry for just talking on and on and on, but it's just like, I kind of want to, you know? Fuck it, I'm going to do it, like. Because if for some like weird reason I'm not on tomorrow, <laughs> bleach in the ceiling, because the silk bang, the silk bang actually has bleach in it. But yeah, if I'm not streaming tomorrow, then, you know, I might as well just get everything out now. But, um, whatchamacallit, the, yeah, so if I were to do it, actually, now that I, I keep saying I'd have to get everything out of this room, Technically, no. Because I could still leave stuff on the shelf that's on the wall. I could leave the whiteboard up. I could leave my round one keychain from America still there. I still have that New Hampshire keychain. I'm never going to probably use it, but... Um, I still have it anyway, because why not? Whatchamacallit. Maybe I could leave a few things on the windowsill as well. But yeah, no, I, I don't know if i consider doing it. If I, if I do notice that the mold starts climbing back up from the floor itself. Like, realistically, I should take the chance to look at it maybe tomorrow whilst I'm also, like, cleaning up the ceiling. But, like, if I do notice it's coming up from the uh, floor, I might consider it. J emphasis on the might. But at the same time, it's just, like, I don't know if I would get carpet flooring or if I would just outright get wood or something like that. But then, if I had wood, could you imagine the fucking sounds on stream of just me just moving my chair like that would be just the most annoying thing i'd actually have to get like a mini carpet well put down the current carpet back down but like okay i'd have to move the fucking entire desk and computer just to place down the carpet just so this chair wouldn't make any noise whilst i'm streaming with hardwood floor i don't know it'd be something interesting to look into i guess um Oh, fuck, I had a thought there about something. I th I'm purposely stopped myself from saying it because I was in the middle of something. Hardwood floor, carpets, chair, desk, computer parts. Well, actually, I will continue on about the computer parts where it's just like, I should, like, get in contact with them. Because I was like, I was even saying, oh, yeah, sure, I'll even pay for them if needs be. I just need to go to, like, a... um. To the PC parts compatibility uh, website. I just need to go back to that and see if, like, <clears throat> the parts that he offers me, like, would actually work for my computer. And whichever ones would, I'd obviously take. And whichever ones don't, I wouldn't take. Oh, actually, fucking funny story. I was in GameStop just recently. And every time I've been into one, three times recently, because, you know, they're shutting down next month in Ireland. The first time I was in was up in Dublin, and it was like 10% off. Then I was in one that's like a bit away from me now here, and it was like 20% off. And then I was just in it again today, and it's already saying 30% off. And it's weird as well how it says 30% off all, when it's like not actually all things. It's like, for hardware, it's 10%. For new things, there's no discount. For Funkos, it's like half price... Um, to the one I went to. I know in, like, Dublin they had Funkos for a fiver, which is why I have a new Funko now. Which, I don't usually get Funkos or anything like that, but it's like, ah, fuck it, it's a fiver, why not? It's just, why not? It's also a commemoration for me, like, reuniting with, um, two friends I haven't really hung out with ever in life, actually. And haven't really seen together since, uh, secondary. But, um, whatchamacallit. Yeah, 30%. I swear the next time I go in, it's going to be like 40-50% off. But the funniest thing is, actually, I don't know if they're also reduced at the same percentage prices, but they're also selling, like, the baskets in stores that hold, like, all the games and shit. And they're selling advertisement screens as well. Which is, like, I'm kind of so tempted to, like, buy one of them just for the sake of buying it. 
But it's like 175, I think, and they call them TVs as well. So I don't know how good their interactivity would be. I, I, I'd say you'd still be able to plug a HDMI into it, but I don't know. And at the same time, it's just like, do I really need it? <laughs> Joe, do you really need another monitor screen? Sure, it would be cool to have a monitor that just stands up in the middle of these two. I guess if I could just... Nah. Uh, there's no space in the world where I could just move the monitors to a side and I could actually see, like, thing. And there wouldn't even be enough plugs anyway, because there's, like, only one, like, socket left near, like, my desk that actually would let it, like, plug in. You know, I just thought that was a funny detail. I never really think about that, like, when a shop shuts down and, like, I, I think it would be liquidating. Like, that they'd actually just start selling, like, the shit they use to sell their items in, you know? I'm surprised they didn't say, oh, your cash register? register? Yeah, that's also reduced too, like, uh... I hope people that work at GameStop are just able to just choose certain items or get a few free items or something like that. Or even get an even bigger discount or something like that. <laughs> I should ask um someone I know. See if they see if they can get me like a PS5 and reduce rate. It's like, ah oh, mate, do you mind if I just buy the PS5 off you for a fiver? Like that'd be gas. I actually honestly, if there was a PS5 at a good offer, I actually probably would buy that. And it'd probably be like, the, you know, it would be. It'd be my first PlayStation 5 that I would ever own as well. Or first PlayStation, should I say, in general. Because I've never owned a PlayStation console. But I'd honestly get PS5. And then we could do some streams where I'm playing God of War Ragnarok and Spider-Man. And it's actual full quality. Well, I say full quality. It's full quality to me, at the very least. On stream, it would be similar to what it usually is. But, like, I don't have to turn down any options or anything like that, so... Yeah. Um, I think that's the thing I was thinking about earlier, the GameStop thing. Mold. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I won't be here on Saturday. I know I said like I literally don't stream as much, but just in case I could be could have been free on Saturday and could have streamed, I'm probably not going to be here on Saturday because I'm going out again. You know, trying to get socializing back into life would be pretty nice, you know. Um, I still haven't really reached out to other friends, but I, I, I'm happy with who I have right now anyway to, like, reach out to and whatnot. I don't think I need to overextend myself too early. I think, like, taking my time is okay as long as I'm getting more sociable by the minute. Because I am, like, as I work, I've legitimately gained probably so much confidence. Like, on stream, it's probably not as obvious because, like, you know, I'm on stream. I'm going to perform. I'm going to, like, actually commentate and, like, do different things in games. But, like, IRL, like, when chatting with people and so on and so forth, it's probably more noticeable to some people. Like, when I met the two friends I was talking about there for, like, the first time in ages, it's, like, all of us were complimenting each other on how much more sociable we were. And, like... One of them works uh, part-time as well. I think it's part-time. But then again, they get called in a lot for work. So it's like, <laughs> it's basically not even part-time at that point. They're basically a full-time employee, but that's none of my business. And like the other friend has just like, basically trying to change themselves for the better. And I kind of see it in them. And they are a bit like, yeah. I, just in general, like fucking comparing my friends from when they were and like, uh, school compared to now is just such a difference. I guess, you know, obviously with it being fucking years since we were all in secondary school, like, obviously, th like, shit is about to change, or not about to change, but did change. And especially when you don't hear from them in a while as well. Like, I'm just thinking of examples of friends, and, like, some of them were, like, proper just depressed and just didn't like life or anything like that, and now they've just had a serious fucking glow up, like, physically and mentally, and it's just... It's very obvious and it's very just heartwarming to see. I gotta send a message out to all my friends just letting them know I still like them. <laughs> She's like, don't worry. I don't actually hate you. That's me to think like that, alright? Don't, don't be me and think that I hate you, alright? that I think you hate me, you know? You know, honestly, when it comes to friends and all that sort of shit and reaching out to people again, it's just... You gotta get past that barrier of fucking... Basically just saying to yourself, they don't actually hate you. They have no problem with you just texting them out of the blue. Just fucking do it, like. Um, 
But yeah, sorry, I'm also playing with the fidget spinner again, and I'm just... I'm basically balancing it on my finger, and it's super fucking satisfying, especially just watching it go. But yeah, um... I don't know if, like, having... Well, I mean, my friend has a fucking, probably, Giga Chad PC, honestly, because, like, he's probably saved up a shit ton more than I have for his own build. But, like, even if I could just get a few bits from his old build, and he doesn't mine it, like... And we're paying decent prices for it. Like, oh, I'm like, grand. It's just, and if it's compatible with my PC, all the better, you know? I don't think th they'd have a monitor. I think they would have, like, used, they might be using their same monitor, but they had a monitor as well. I could get it, because at the same time, right, if I had another monitor, I would essentially at that point just, like, um, I'd have a reason to actually buy a console. Other than buying, or like doing that, another reason I would, whatchamacallit, another reason I would buy consoles, if I had a HDMI splitter, I need to actually look into them, just to see, you know, again, with GameStop like reducing prices of their things, like, it wouldn't be any harm, even just getting like a PS4 and just playing games on it that I've never played before, and then I could just plug it into, um, whatchamacallit, the... Yoki Mabob. I could plug the PlayStation 4 into the splitter and then have it, like, one of the monitors work as it, so I just, I'd, how would I even do that, actually? It'd be weird, but I, I, I'd make it work somehow. Because it's like, I'd have to turn on the computer, but I'd also have to, like, eh, no, shit, I don't even have enough fucking slots for it. So I'd have to buy a new extension, like, uh, not cord. Not really lead either, would it be? Extension sockets, Yoki Mabob. You know what I mean. The the yoke that has like four of them at once and you can just plug a, f a good few things into them. I know in a shop nearby, like they would sell them. So like I'd just go to that shop and just get one easy. But I think that's why I just haven't committed to like buying another console. Because I already got rid of my Xbox like ages ago and it's just like... Unless there's like things already in place, I wouldn't really buy it. Like, I'd probably consider a Switch, but at the same time, I think people are already theorizing. I, they probably just copium for the past few years, but they're hoping, like, a new, like, Nintendo system will be coming down in the next few years now. Especially because I think it was, like, Tears of the Kingdom released, and it's, like, they feel like that'll be the last big game for the Switch before they make, like, a new console. And it'll also be a good example if they do release, like, a new, um, console. Like, they let, you know, the Tears of the Kingdom sales, like, reach their peak. And they're like, okay, now we introduce new console. And then we'll say, oh yeah, you can play Tears of the Kingdom at 60 frames a second. That would be fucking hype, but I don't think Nintendo would actually do that. I know, like, Nintendo are gimmicky with their consoles and stuff. But I feel like they should legitimately just go for a Switch 2. Like, I, I feel like a Switch 2 that's just powerful and can play all past Switch games would be a fucking huge dub for Nintendo. Even though they do kind of blunder a lot on, like, YouTube copyright and all that, but, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know, I just remember there because of YouTube and all that, but... I don't know if you've seen, but the fucking uh, Five Nights at Freddy's horror movie trailer came out. I think I viewed it this morning, so I can't really remember too much from it, but... I do remember seeing Saws and like, oh god, what, no, what, what's happening here? But at the same time, it's probably going to be a good film, because I know um, it's been fucking scrapped and just constantly made and scrapped, made and scrapped, and now it's finally actually happening, like the movie's coming, like, and the model's just, the fucking recreation of the fucking characters is so good, like, as far as I remember anyway, I might be just overhyping it. I do know they have a bit of fluff on them as well. But yeah, another Five Nights at Freddy's news as well. The, um, whatchamacallit, the Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach DLC, um, a teaser released for that recently. And I think they were also saying, like, if the teasers are out now, when they were leaked, like, months ago, that must mean that they're, like, starting to get ready to release it soon. And another bit of trivia to add on top of that, the company that works on Security Breach, uh, Steel Wool, 
Oh yeah, I just realized I was looking down this way for a majority of this talk because I'm looking out the fidget. Let me hold it in front of the fucking um, camera so I'm looking at it at least. Joe, look. Look at camera. Oh wait, shit, I'm blocking the view. <laughs> look. Um, whatchamacallit? Bleeding. Uh, Steel Wool, I think, are also meant to be working on like a VR version of he uh, Hello Neighbor. But I'm pretty sure, like, Hello Neighbor just fell off ages ago, to be honest. I haven't really heard too much from them. Other than, like, uh, Matthew Patrick, you know, Game Theory's kind of jab at them recently for, like, constantly tagging him in the past, like. But yeah, no, I'm a fucking fountain for fucking gossip this week, Jesus. Um... It's funny as well, I talk about the tutor thing, being a tutor now, when I had a tutor myself at work, because you can also, like, learn while you're on the job. And, like, I just finished my uh, course just there. And it's just like, oh, yeah, shit, I'm not going to see you for a while. But now I'm also kind of taking your position and being a tutor myself, like, so, yeah. I don't know. Other than that, the only other thing I have to say is the fucking... All three work days for me have been just fucking gorgeous, like. Like, going in, like, nearly sweating is, like, weird to me now. It's like, I'm so used to it being freezing cold for back in March. But now it's fucking nearing June, so it's, like, summertime, you know? And, like, what is it? So, January, February, winter, March, April, May, that's spring. Bro, it's basically summer already. You might as well just say fucking, um... March and April are spring, and then May, June, July, and August are summer, like I swear. Because it, it is proper warm. And, like, clear skies. Like, it's just so nice. Like, I'm... It's also just weird to walk home without my jacket and actually showing my work top out in public, like. Which, if you want to know, I actually have been starting to become a bit of a connoisseur now with uh, wearing work shirt well not work shirts but wearing um work appropriate shirts let's just say i'm glad my dad passed me down two of his because i'm like oh cool that's more work clothes for me i like honestly i might actually just go out on saturday wearing the work top that i had on today it's just so fresh like it just is like i might be getting out of the stage of uh t-shirts and just going into short sleeved uh shirts instead I just realized those sound the exact same, but you know what I mean. One has like a little uh, breast pocket on and the others don't really. But then again, how could I pass up like putting on my Homer Simpson uh, t-shirt? It is really good though. It's good quality. Actually, yeah, I just realized that as well. Because I was, I was thinking about it as well earlier today. Where it's like, like, uh, what was it? Bleeding, yeah, Destiny shirts. Like, I haven't... The one I'm wearing now, I think, was, like, the last Destiny t-shirt I ordered before I just stopped ordering them. Because I realized, you know what? I don't really need all these Destiny t-shirts. And, like, even when I did, um, not Vow of the Disciple, uh, Root of Nightmares. When I did Root of Nightmares in Destiny 2, the recent raid, like, I had the opportunity to buy the jacket. But then I saw that price tag, I was like, okay, it's a really nice jacket. That I'm probably going to wear during winter. But should I? Like, is it worth it? Like, I don't know. Like, as long as the fucking jacket keeps me warm, that's all I really care about, honestly. I could change my mind in the future, though, but who knows. I don't know. I hope I don't really ever become, like, a hype beast or anything like that and just start spending a stupid amount of money on things. Not even just clothes, just anything in general. But then, you know, I think I'm doing a good job. Because, you know, we, I don't have a third monitor with me right now, so I must be doing something right. I was going to say, like, let's play the song, like, one more time before I go. But at the same time, I'm also just thinking, like, okay, Joe, is there anything else you want to spill before you stream, hopefully, tomorrow? I don't think there is, honestly. I, th I feel like, though, there was a video I was going to show, but I didn't show it. But you can always, again, just do that, like, another time. Well, I mean, legitimately, like, at the end of, like, this weekend, we're going to be doing, like, a big look over of all the videos anyway. So, <laughs> it's just, it's cool. 
Like, uh, there's no point really, Joe. Just, you can always look back at it during that time. Right. Yeah, no, legit. I, I'm not thinking of anything. I feel like I will think of something during the song. So, yeah. I'm just going to let the song play out. I'm going to just chill in my chair and probably not jam out as hard as I did like when I first played this. So, yeah. Enjoy. Oh, shit. See the train. <laughs> Sorry, it just it, it's so again, it's super weird to finally be playing it on stream. It doesn't feel right. Like, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna say this. I, I wanna say this. That should be a title of another book I make now. I want to sing. And it's literally just a, an auto autobiography of like Joe's mixtape and it's um uh, sing-offs and all that sort of stuff. I think, what was it? Trying to sing, not sing. Well, actually, it was originally called Sing-Offs, and then I called it Trying to Sing. And yes, I am going to look at the lyric video in case I get the lyrics wrong. <laughs> it's just like, even I could get the lyrics wrong. I'll turn it down a bit just in case as well. And not look it. If it's sculpted, it's sculpted. She wonders a journey without a starting line. She locks her gaze to the distant red sky and endless ocean. The illusion of this hero. I said that wrong. The desire her heart wants so far away. Her heart grows heavy and tired. Oh, Sherry, don't you hide your secret signs? Everything's okay. All the ways that you've been holding on to now And just believe in what he says Go walk down the memory lane Remember the hope you held on And hold it tightly to your chest That you said is right above you in your sky Here's the wish you made To get a chance to meet him one day To bring you back together someday Can you see? With a smile on your face. Fuck, I struggled to fucking read, man. I can't read at all, man. I got so many of those lyrics wrong, man. What's wrong with me? Oh, I'd stop moving. I didn't even realize it was that dark already. Do I even... I have the windows. It doesn't matter. Fucking... My neighbors probably think I'm a weirdo. It doesn't matter. It's <laughs> just... It is how it is. But then again, I'm already displaying my weirdo-ness to the internet right here anyway, just actually, like, singing the song. Yeah, honestly, I might just, like, I might just go back to be like, yo, could I buy the fucking instrumental off you real quick? I fucking need it, like, and do, like, a proper, like, uh, cover of it. Or maybe I could get someone to auto-tune my lyrics. <laughs> just, or my fucking vocals. Imagine that I actually go through that effort of getting myself to sing it just for the sake of it. It's just like Joseph Nightflyer sings a song about wishing to meet Joseph Nightflyer himself. Emphasis on the Joseph Nightflyer all one word and Joseph Nightflyer with a space in between. It's just like 
<laughs> That'd be so funny, man. I I don't know. I'm sorry. I've just gassed up right now. I fucking love it. I kind of I just want to play it again. Can I can I play it again, guys? Do I have permit? I do have permission. I am the owner of the stream. I am playing it again. I keep saying don't lose it, I don't know why. <laughs> On your face. Sorry, I had to. Like, I can't. I can't help myself. It's just, I, I can't help myself. I just, I just love it. Honestly, I, I just do. Anyway, right. I'm gonna end the stream now before I run out of energy completely. I'm probably gonna have a fuck throw tomorrow, especially with spraying the ceiling with uh, mold remover as well. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching the stream. Obviously, uh, the stream will become available at some time on the Joe's Night Flare channel. I'll probably export the VOD today, but I don't think... I'll make sure it doesn't like collide with um, the release of the uh, music video tomorrow. And... Yeah, it'll, it'll probably happen anyway, like whilst I end the stream or something like that. Anyway, so, yeah. Also, make sure to follow for more. Obviously, as you can see, I have my cat ears on. This um, little hairpiece will be coming off antenna. I think it... We'll, we'll call it the antenna instead because it, it sounds weird every time I call it the you know, Ahoga. It's like the um, curse like, meme face where you stick your tongue out and look up at like uh, the ceiling. So I'd rather not be doing that too much. Or, well, calling it that much and then <laughs> subconsciously telling myself to do it. Especially because in the fucking Grasp of Avarice video, it actually, <laughs> I did it in that. It was like, oh, that's so cursed. Anyway, sorry. I'm going to stop now. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, goodbye.